Hey guys, Johnny here back with more Shadowgun Legends news. Today we talk about the upcoming update 0.7.5 in Shadowgun Legends. Buckle up guys, we have tons of information. We're gonna talk about the new features first, then we talk about the new content, and then the improvements coming into the game. And watch this thing until the end guys, because we're gonna try to figure out these things. There's a lot of stuff. It is not clear exactly how many new legendaries we're getting. Probably four new legendary weapons maybe five but look at all the info we got one by one and we figure it out at the end so let's go with the new features first first new feature is called to action matchmaking they said they wanted to improve the matchmaking in the game now with this new feature players will now know about upcoming or about uh, games that are about to start you can think of the notifications we get when someone tries to start a co-op mission and you receive a notification that says this guy want your help then you just click and you can join the match but i'm thinking they might add this feature for maybe dungeons and multiplayer matches so let's say i start voltaic fist by myself other players on my server would receive a notification that i'm trying to start voltaic fist so they will just click to join me and will start much faster that way so they could do the same for pvp let's say some guys trying to start a pvp multiplayer match and all the other players on the server receive a notification so maybe there's a much better chance that these guys will just want to join because they know other players want to play you know now the next new feature is unlock three new active skills that is not a surprise we've been waiting for these new skills for a very long time now they were supposed to come out in 0.7 update now it's 0.7.5 so blink invisibility tech hunter mines now we already seen a little bit of footage about hunter mine and invisibility tech uh, people are really excited to finally be able to try these new ultimate skills but we still need the skill points to be able to use them now we'll have new in-app purchases one is called gold supply it's something you buy and then you get gold each day we'll get new bundles new cosmetic items to buy with gold and something new called xp boosters they have that in some mobile games you can buy a boost and for some time you'll get extra xp could be double xp or 50 percent extra xp for a week uh, we don't have much details but xp boost is a thing could be good for new players who want to try to level up faster the last one is improved difficulty system they want to keep all the players interested especially the more hardcore players uh, if they think the game is too easy what i would like to see is something that you can adjust yourself they've been talking about it in the past let's say you want to increase the difficulty in gold arena but if you increase the difficulty you get a better drop rate and if you want to play on an easier mode you can do it but you have maybe a smaller drop rate or something like that so if you could choose to increase the difficulty and then have a chance for a better drop rate it would be awesome but that doesn't say anything i guess we'll know watch the mad stream guys because we might have more information that's it for the new features now let's look at the new content now check this out guys because this is one of the questions we'll try to answer at the end New content number one, finish your shadow gun training, unfold the story of Slade's crew through two new chain quests and get your hands on the legendary piece of shadow gun history. Watch out guys, two new chain quests, two new skill points. They said the skill points in the future would be obtainable through chain quest. We need two skill points to get access to the new skills and we will have two new chain quests about Slade's story. So I'm thinking this could be it, we'll get new story and the rewards will be the skill points, get access to the new skills. But look at the last piece of information, get your hands on a legendary piece of Shadowgun history. So what is it gonna be? Do you get a final reward at the end? Is it gonna be another legendary weapon or a legendary cosmetic or something else? We will know more really soon. New content number two, Hive Mind is back with two new legendary weapons, a new legendary assault rifle and a new legendary sniper rifle. Edestus and Cryonic Scream, the names uh, that could change, I don't know, sometimes with translations uh, between the info and what the content is going to be in the game. But okay, assault rifle, sniper rifle, don't go away because we got more. 
New content number three, winter holiday event. They already talked a little bit about it. Winter holiday event should last more than a week. Now with the holiday event will come the legendary Nebula shotgun. So we already have three new legendaries, one AR, one sniper, and now a shotgun. But there will be more. We'll get holiday cosmetics, stickers, and probably more stuff. Now one more legendary weapon, Nitro. In the Nitro shop, we'll have a new legendary AR. It's called Faraday Accelerator. I did ask some question. I asked what's going to happen with the Liberator because we're getting a new legendary. Are we going to lose the Liberator? Because if yes, hurry up and get Liberator now. I mean, we need to know, right? Because the new update could drop anytime soon. So I asked and the answer is we will rotate later when more weapons become available at Nitro. So for now, we should not lose the Liberator when the Accelerator comes to the shop. If it's gone, it's not gone forever. There will be rotations. Now, last part of new content, bunch of cosmetics, guys. First of all is the Necrotic Hunter. It's a full body cosmetic. It will cover your armor. They already confirmed that. It's a fan art design, which is awesome. So they started with concept art. They developed and they came out with the final in-game character that you can see right here. This thing is freaking awesome. I love it. Um, I cannot wait to see it in the game. So Necrotic Hunter is a full body cosmetic. Next one, Dreadhead Cosmetic Helmet. Guys, you know what a Dread is? It's one of the enemies that run and jump at you. Uh, they got Dreads, probably where the name come from. Probably something like that we'll be able to wear in the game. Uh, this is not official. I took it on Facebook, but uh, this is official. We'll have a Dreadhead cosmetic hat. So I'm thinking it's going to be something like that. Fingers crossed because I think it's epic. But we'll see very, very, very soon. And then more cosmetics uh, from the winter holiday. No details, but there should be a couple at least. Now for the game improvement, loot drop increase. They say they want to try to give you guys more valuable items after every run for arenas and dungeons. So we will see. I mean, I don't expect a weapon or a legendary weapon every run, but if we get at least something every run, even if it's armor, I mean, some guys complain about armor, but we need good perks and you need tons of legendary armor before you finally get the great perk. So I wouldn't mind getting a legendary armor every arena and then once in a while you get weapons, but at least you get something, right? Inventory finally increasing to 200 for premium players. Uh, we need inventory space if we're collectors. It's awesome. Finally, we get more. And they say uh, gold arena enemy spawn points improve. I don't know about that. We will see what they want to do with that no details and there's a lot more bug fixes optimization of course uh, skippable intro uh, we'll have more detail when the update drops but there's a lot more so how many new legendary weapons are we getting exactly here's what we know from all the details in this video so far we know we're getting from hive mind two legendaries uh legendary assault rifle called Adestis. Uh, legendary sniper rifle called Crown Extreme. That's two from Hive Mind. One powerful shotgun named Nebula. It's only from the holiday event. And I think this is crazy. A legendary only available from an event. When the holiday event is over, this legendary is gone. But will it be back in the shop or something? Because remember, the Halloween event weapons are now appearing for gold sometimes. And then the Nitro shop will get a legendary AR called Faraday Accelerator. So two ARs, one sniper and one shotgun. So that's four guaranteed new legendaries coming soon. But then there's the Slade thing. The information they gave about the new chain quest, uh, they didn't say we're getting skill points, but pretty sure it's going to be that. But we have new story and they said you will earn as a reward a piece of a Shadowgun history, a legendary piece of Shadowgun history. No information, but it really sounds like a new legendary item. Could be a legendary sticker though, could be a legendary cosmetic or something, but it could be a legendary weapon, one more weapon. So we will see, cannot wait to see the next update, cannot wait to jump into the new content, cannot wait to try the new skills, there's so much, I mean, we didn't get that many new legendary weapons in an update. The Gold Arena update had three new weapons, but this is sick. That's four weapons at least, maybe five. So we'll see soon. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Until then, watch my other videos. Take care.